you. You're now looking at David Davis, who is the Brexit minister, the man appointed to oversee this this huge, this enormous process. Let's listen to what he has to say because he's addressing Parliament. Ah, oh, he's just sat down. Speaker, can I say to my right honourable friend? All right. Well, listening to that for us on our behalf is our correspondent Barnaby Phillips. Barnaby's standing by. Um, Barnaby, so how did David Davis then respond to Parliament, to this uh, Supreme Court ruling? Well, I think this was a defeat, Martine, that the government was expecting, and they came pre-prepared. Uh, David Davis said, we're a law-abiding country. Of course, we respect the verdict of the judges. Uh, we will now introduce what he calls a straightforward bill. I think that means quite a, a, a short bill, quotes within days, uh, whereby we expect Parliament not to frustrate or delay the will of the British people as expressed in the referendum of June of last year and to vote in favour of invoking Article 50. There was a reply from the Labour Party and their Brexit spokesman, Keir Starmer, and I think it gave an indication of the sort of debates we're now going to see on a pretty regular level as a result of this ruling. And he's saying, Labour saying, well, they too will not frustrate the will of the British people, uh, but they want to see a white paper, which is a, a much more detailed plan of the government's intentions. And we're already hearing from Labour sources, for example, that they would want to use amendments to a government bill, for example, ensuring that any eventual deal guarantees Britain tariff-free access to the EU, guarantees workers' rights, environmental protection, so on and so, so forth. So the government determined to retain control and, if possible, retain control over the time frame of the Brexit process, but opposition parties feeling emboldened by the ruling in the Supreme Court. And uh, it seems as though the government is going to have its work cut out if it's going to... Uh, if it's going to meet its own deadline, which was for the end of March, that point at which they were hoping to be able to, to invoke Article 50. But it sounds very much as though uh, that's not going to be possible now. It, it's hard to say, Martin. Certainly in public, the government is remaining confident that that deadline, which, as you implied, is, is merely self-imposed. It has become very politically important, but it, it was a date plucked from the air. They're confident they can still achieve that deadline. They do have, of course, a majority in Parliament, but the opposition parties will be vociferous and will fight all the way, I think. All right. Thank you for that. Barnaby Phillips, uh, our correspondent, uh, live outside the Houses of Parliament. So it's been a very busy news day. David Davis there, the Brexit minister, addressing uh, the House of Commons there, just a while after the Supreme Court ruling, of course, which decreed finally that Theresa May's government is going to have to refer any decision to start the process of leaving the European Union to Parliament. So Barnaby's just told us that the government is assuring uh, parliamentarians that they will have a bill ready within days is the suggestion um, but we're also hearing that the opposition has got its own plans in mind as well as to the kind of amendments that it's likely to add stay with us